X Limited forfeited 900 equity shares of rupees 100 each for the non-payment of allotment money of rupees 30 per share. The first call of 20 per share, he could not pay 30 plus 20. 30 he could not pay allotment, 20 he could not pay first call. The second and final call of 25 per share has not been made. 25 has not been called. Call of a second and final call has not been made. Hence, 75 has been called. Out of this 50 is this allotment and first call 25 is application money. The forfeited shares were reissued for rupees 90 per share, rupees 75 paid up, journalized above. That means company has not made or touched the second and final call. Now, design working notes. Application money 25, allotment money 30, first call 20, second and final call 25, third and total is rupees 100. You understood how this application 25 came? 30 is given allotment, 20 first call is given, 25 has not been made is given, this 100 minus 75, 25 application money is received. In front of first call, this is 20 hyphen 900 cross. Then number of shares forfeited 900 shares. Fair notes, journal entries of X limited. Share capital account debited, that is 900 into 75, 67,500. The amount called, called, called. Application 25, allotment 30, first call 20. Then, two forfeited shares account that is 900 into 25 only application money that is 22,500. To share allotment account amount not received that is 900 into 30, 9 3 are 27,000 that is not received. To share first call rupees 20 was not received 900 into 20. This, that is 18,000. Being 900 shares forfeited due to non-payment of allotment and fast call money. Next entry is, these shares are reissued at rupees 90 per share, rupees 75 paid up. Bank account debited 900 into 90, 9 nines are 81,000. That is amount collected on reissue. To share capital account, this is called up or paid up value. Called up, 75 paid up or called up. It was reissued at 90, but paid up or called up is 75. We assumed that on this share, rupees 75 has been paid up or called up. Another rupees 25 rupees will be called. To securities premium reserve account, that is securities premium reserve account that is 900 shares at rupees 15 75 called up share reissued at 90 90 minus 75 is 15 900 into 15 15 nines are 135 double zero being 900 shares of rupees 90 per share at rupees 75 per up being 900 shares issued say better word is reissued at the rate of rupees 90 per share, rupees 75 paid up. Then profit transfer. Forfeited shares account debited to capital reserve account. 22,500 forfeited shares account in the entry number 1 is the profit. We collected that and we did not allow any discount on reissue. We reissued the shares at a premium. Hence, this 22,500 will come. After the entry, we can read out the narration being profit and forfeiture and reuse of shares transferred to capital reserve account. Then we have to total the debit and credit sides. The total is rupees 1,71,000 both debit and credit. This is the final answer.